Good morning, everyone. I am very sorry that I'm not able to be with you today, but I'm in England representing Sir Optimus International at the funeral of a past Sir Optimus International treasurer, Annie Ainsworth, a lady who many of you will know as she was a frequent visitor to Northern Ireland. It is an honor to have been asked by Teresa to give the closing remarks. And of course, if I'd been with you, then I would have been highlighting the words of those who spoke this morning. But I am not. So may I outline some thoughts that I have in the context of sustainability of the environment and how you and I can play our part. Climate change remains the most significant global threat to human life. More extreme and less predictable weather, growing food insecurity, increasing water insecurity, and unstable living conditions all combine with gender equality to leave women and girls more vulnerable. Sir Optimus International has recently submitted a statement to the Commission on the Status of Women, CSW 66, which will commence in 10 days time on the 14th of March. So I would like to read a paragraph from this statement that is pertinent to this event. Human action is changing the Earth's climate in unprecedented ways, but human actions can limit future climate change. Time has run out for governments across the world. A lack of political will is no longer an excuse. Member states must act now to ensure the preservation of the planet and the realization of human rights for all women and girls. Being environmentally conscious is not all about plastic bags. It is about making everyday choices that will quite literally determine our success or failure as a species. We can be more conscious about reducing pollution, protecting wildlife, conserving natural resources, and take other actions that can help slow the rate of climate change. Everyone can make a difference, particularly when smart environmental choices become a habit and perhaps even begins to influence others into taking similar actions. Doing the right thing for the future of life on earth can even have immediate personal benefits. It can tap into your creativity, can get you more engaged with your community and the wider world, and may even contribute to a healthier lifestyle. All sounds so good. We need to reduce the amount of trash we create and to reuse or recycle consumer goods rather than throwing them away. It is not possible to offer an exhaustive list of things you can do to help protect the environment or rank them based on impact. But when you consider what you've heard this morning, then I'm sure you've compiled a short list of relatively easy things you can do to shrink your carbon footprint, lead to more green actions and initiate scale, change on a larger scale. I'm going to pose a question. Did you know 70% of the 1.3 billion people living in poverty are women? In urban areas, 40% of the poorest households are headed by women. Women are predominant in the world's food production, but they own less than 10% of the land, even though they account for about 80%. 80% of the displaced by climate-related disasters and changes around the world are women and girls. And climate change may lead to more gender-based violence, an increase in child marriage, and worsening sexual and reproductive health. Perhaps you could ponder on these statistics as you go back home or to work or wherever you're going, thinking of International Women's Day and realizing that advancing gender equality in the contents, context of the climate crisis and disaster risk reduction is one of the greatest global challenges of the 21st century. Women are increasingly being recognized as more vulnerable to climate change impacts than men, as they represent the majority of the world's poor and are more dependent on the natural resources which climate change threatens the most. At the same time, women and girls are effective and powerful leaders and change makers for climate adaptation 
and migration. They are involved in sustainability initiatives around the world and their participation and leadership results in more effective climate action. Continuing to examine the opportunities as well as the constraints to empower women and girls to have a voice and be equal players in decision-making related to the environment and sustainability is essential for sustainable development and greater gender equality. Without gender equality today, a sustainable future and an equal future remains beyond our reach. So on this International Women's Day, let's claim gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow. Let us break the bias. May I thank you for attending this Seropolis International Regional Event in order to celebrate International Women's Day 2022. And may I wish you a safe journey home. And again, my apologies for not being with you face to face, which would have been absolutely wonderful at this event. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you soon.